Hi everyone, what's up? It's your girl Tosca. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I decided to um, to do a predictions um, video for you guys for the next six months. So from now up until January of 2025. This is Palo Santo just clearing out the energy. Okay. This is take two, by the way. So I'm going to do a, um, a pile for love, career, and advice for my collective. It's general, so take if the shoe fits, wear it. Um, whatever resonates with you that's on you um and yeah sending you guys massive love and light all right I'm seeing the three of pentacles this is for love I'm seeing the three of pentacles I may not have the cards laying out yet but I'm starting to channel a little bit what's going on some of you who were in a relationship for like at least the past two or three years it was a karmic cycle it was we're done um, for some of you If you've been single for a while, love is slowly, like a relationship, like a long-term relationship is slowly working its way towards you, but it's not a, a quick fix. It's not like a band-aid. It's not, you know, it's not fast. It's something that's slow. And you're trying to, it's almost like you're figuring out who you are. You're trying to figure out who you are versus what you want to become. Self-improvement, you know, I think if you've been single for a while, you're starting to know your worth. You're starting to realize your worth. That's what I'm getting. All right. Love for my collective from now until January or February 2025. What's going on in love for my collective? General love. I'm seeing the strength card. So right now, it's time for you to just power through and... and Stick to your guns and love yourself and take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Um, whether you've been in a relationship or not, self-care is 110% non-negotiable. At least for me, it's not. It's like I, I need my own time. I need my me time. <laughs> What's going on for love? For my collective, the love. Five of Swords. You're feeling defeated. Someone here, if you've dealt with someone in your past who was always trying to be right, you're feeling defeated. You're feeling like, whatever, I don't even care anymore about being right. It, it doesn't even matter. Because if being right or wrong is what matters in a relationship, then you don't really care or you don't really love me or you don't really, you don't care about my well-being. You only care about what's being right. Um, 
and it feels like it, it feels like a what the fuck moment you know like it feels like why I would rather be in solitude and be wrong than to deal with you or him or her or whatever and try to be right we put so much emphasis on the right answer or the wrong answer or the right path or the wrong path it it does not matter in 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 the metaphysical world we make decisions love is a decision right relationships getting into a relationship is a decision but it but it's almost like what do you want because if I'm not bringing you what you want and you want to just be right, I'm probably not the person for you. You know, that's that's the thing. There's no forgiveness. There's no um, margin of error. We're, we're people. We make mistakes. I'm just saying. And I think in, in our society, we, we focus more on being right. Like, just look at politics. It's like really right or really left. It, when you don't know that both sides can go full circle you know it's we're we, we put ourselves in a position i feel like in love especially we put ourselves in a position where we have to do what's right for us or for me or you have to be with me or i have to be with you it's it that's what i'm seeing that's that's what i'm seeing going on in love three of cups you only live once right so enjoy what you have enjoy oh my god the sun the fold the new beginnings two of pentacles yeah Ace of Swords. For most of the, for most of you, excuse me, new love is coming in, but it's not quick, is what I'm getting. It's not fast. It it might actually start next year or at the end of this year. King of Cups, Princess of Wands. This person, <clears throat> Ace. Of pentacles. Give me three more cards. King of Swords. Yep. This person, um, if this is someone new, tries to be positive, tries to be a positive person princess of swords on the bottom we have contemplation nine of pentacles two of wands ten of wands give me one more card four of cups all right <clears throat> so for some of you, if you've been single for a while, you have to get out of your comfort zone, okay? We are not throwing a pity party. Not on my channel. <laughs> if you have been single for a while, I mean a year or more, which is like me, basically, right? Um, I feel like you need to take care of yourself, take care of your appearance, take care, even if it's just your appearance, um, take care of your mental health, take care of yourself, get sleep, drink a lot of water, take care of yourself. Um, if you met someone new, I feel like this is someone who is emotionally stable, emotionally, mentally stable. Um, this is someone, if this is someone new, you may have met them once or twice, you may have in passing, know them. Some of you, they could be a coworker. But this is someone who's emotionally and mentally stable. Um, they, or he or she, 
knows what they want. They are very, um, they are a man or a woman on a mission. Um, I feel like they are not for games, but they are also not ready to bite the bullet for anyone either. And I feel like my viewers, if you are my viewer, you're also kind of like, let me just take it easy on myself for right now, because this is too much. I, I either you just got out of something else last year or whatever. Um, someone made your life a living miserable hell. Um, it has been a headache. Some of you guys, I'm telling you, some of you, your past, if I, if there's anything that tells me karma, it is karma. And it's not just karma on you, it's karma on your past person. They're going to get what's coming to them. If they made your life miserable, best believe that his karma or her karma is going to be miserable too. You, you can't treat people a really shitty way and not see it backfire. You just can't. Princess of Cups, yeah, Four of Pentacles, and Love. So, you got the Two of Swords, the World. So, you, you are capable of love. My viewers are capable of love. You're capable of being in a relationship. You're capable of loving yourself, taking care of yourself, but you're also holding back, which is understandable. We have fight or flight. And we also have um, we also have parts of ourselves where we need to just kind of cope. It's like a coping mechanism. Like how do we move forward after the sh the tr tr crap, the bullshit that we went through, right? So I feel like love is coming in, but in a slow kind of way. For some of you, you're gonna meet someone from a distance. I'm seeing um, technology, so I'm seeing either there's a song. Oh my god! There's a song by this band called Above and Beyond. I don't know if you guys listen to them, but they're amazing. There, there's a song called The Sun and Moon, and it says, "I'm sorry, baby, you are the sun and moon to me. I'll never get over you. You'll never get over me." And I just saw like the sun and moon, the sun and moon. And there, there was a situation for you that really effed you up. But I feel like it almost like the turn of events showed you what you truly want and what your worth is. But you're not rushing into love either. It's not like, oh, I can fall in love. You're not rushing. You're like, okay, well, we're in this process right now. You might be manifesting love, but you're not like rushing into it either. You're like, it will happen when it's supposed to happen. Yeah, Ten of Swords. I'm telling you, you guys ended something. It was like a karmic cycle. It was backstabbing. It was... I will make your life miserable. There was a lot of ego trips. There was a lot of guilt trips. There was a lot of mind games. And you're just like, mm -mm, no more. And you just had to cut it, end it. So for the next six months, you're going to learn more about yourself. You're gonna learn more about what you need what you want, what is good for you, what is not, because sometimes what we want is not really what's good for us, you know, and it's an ego thing. Give me three cards. Next six months from my collective in love. Next six months. Love is coming towards you. It, it's, it's not, again, not a fast, it's not fast. Nine of Swords. Tradition or the Hierophant. 
Prince of Swords. Some of you are going to end up with a, I'm seeing um, uh, air sign, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. It could also be Sun, Moon, or Rising. I'm also seeing Taurus, and I'm also seeing Water, which is Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. But you guys are really thinking. You guys are really contemplating. Four of Swords. Yeah, this is your advice. Six of Cups. Give me a little card. And the Six of Wands. You got the Magician. So you're manifesting this. But I feel like it's telling you to not, don't overthink this right now. Take care of your mental health. Take care of your emotional health. Some of you are going to go into... Why do I feel like some of you guys are going into... Um, going to therapy. I'm seeing therapy sessions. I'm seeing... Um, I'm seeing therapy sessions. I'm seeing talking to friends. I'm seeing hanging out with friends a little bit more. Um, but that's you kind of opening up, but you are manifesting love, but it's, but there are moments where you're just like, I just need a break. I don't need to keep going on and on and on about what happened in the past or on and on and on about what's going to happen in the future. I think a lot of you guys are going to be just even tempered because it's like, if I put too much energy on what happened to this girl chick or this guy who never texted me back or who was an asshole to me you know like if I stay there like and dwell it's not gonna do me any good it's just gonna make me feel hurt even more we torment ourselves honestly and it's all in the mind and it's all mental for whatever reason we just do but now you're trying to figure out okay where can I just be myself with my person and you know where we have like the same values where we live where we have the same values and have the same ideals and we have maybe even the same traditions or we see relationships in a very similar way it's you, you're, you're not giving more than you can if you can't, if you can only give 10%, that's all you're going to give. You're not going to give 11. You know what I mean? You're not going to give 20. You're not going to give 100. It's like if someone asks me for a $20 bill and I only have like $5, you're getting five. You know, I don't have, I'm sorry, I don't have a $20 bill. I only have $5. You know, you're not compromising on yourself when it comes to love. But, but relationships, is, are, is coming to, towards you for my collective. There's a relationship, a very strong, it could even lead to marriage. Um, it can, but it's not like a rush. It's not like a fast paced thing. It's like, all right, I'm gonna decide to do this because if I don't, you know, this train might pass me by. This boat, this ship is going to sail. So it's like, okay, let me let me see how this goes. You're not easy for my collective. You're not easy. You might like to enjoy your life. You might like to party. You might like to hang out with friends. And that's all well and fine. But you're not easy. You have standards is what I'm getting and I think you're starting to find your worth you're starting to find your worth and you're starting to realize what works for you is going to work for you what doesn't work for you won't work for you but right now you're trying to figure out how am I going to make this happen without overthinking it because you're manifesting it all right three cards please Here's my pink Floyd playing cards deck Six of diamonds. Wow. Six cards, please. Four of spades. Yep. Balance. Balance 
in, in when it comes to relationships and interpersonal relationships is very important. It's very crucial. Seven of diamonds. Look at that. It's a tree. And you're putting the pieces together, but it's a tree. And a tree does not grow overnight. An oak tree does not grow overnight. It it takes years to develop into a tree. Five of spades. Three of three of diamonds. Give me one more card. Ace of Cups. Learn to take care of yourself first. Learn to readjust and really figure out what you need from a relationship. Because technically, we really don't need a relationship. Like in this day and age, we really don't need it. It's more cultural. It's more society pushing a narrative. Like we should be like you know, in a relationship or we should be married by a certain age. Nothing is not necessarily true, you know. Um, people can get married at any age. I know people who got married in their 40s and 50s. It, it, it does not matter. But I feel like since we're by the book, people want, you yeah, I got married by 35, got to get married by this age. But it's, it's telling me to just don't even think about that right now. Love yourself. Love yourself. Enjoy your time. Enjoy your alone time. If you're single, if you've been single for a while, enjoy your alone time because very quickly, very shortly, it's going to change. And for some of you who have been in a relationship that was toxic that was intense that had i feel like if if you had a really if you've been in a rela relationship for the for the past three two three years it was toxic it was toxic it was either it was very unavailable it was neediness it was codependency it was um pushing away but wanting it was chasing it was what, what are you doing like what are you doing it's a mess it's a mess it's a full circle of a mess the same freaking whirlwind of craziness it's like a tornado one more card please that's what I'm getting for some of you guys and you you never saw your worth in that person and that person saw their worth in you and they took it and they became addicted to it and they just took it the energy vampires energy vampires they took away your self-esteem they took away your mentality your clarity they just they were like oh so this is who you are you're gonna be this person to me because I need this it's it was an addict it was not love it's addiction it's an addiction So now, Six of Hearts, Queen of Diamonds, you're learning your worth. Ten of Spades. You're learning your worth and you're like, I got to cut this person out. If you're dealing with a pa past person, I'm going to cut this person out. I'm not going to no more. I'm washing my hands. Because this person caused chaos. Always wanted needed something from me but some of you also um dealt with someone because you just felt like that was just the right thing to do and you didn't even think about yourself you they didn't think about how you felt and you didn't think about how they felt and but you just kind of stuck it out i don't know or or some kind of I don't even know it was it's a hot mess I'm sorry you guys it's a hot mess it's a headache king of clubs four of hearts and the joker some of you are waiting for someone from your past 
it's telling me don't stay hung up on that. And I'm not saying you, you got to spread yourself thin, but don't stay hung up on the past. If you're putting it together where you just really, need, this is the person for me, and they just need to come and manifest it and manifest it and manifest it and manifest it and manifest it, and you're just like, and, and you, you just need to let it go. Let the past go. And you can't expect people to change. All right. So that's what I'm getting for love. Um, for the next six months, for those of you who have been single for a while, it's coming towards you slowly. Don't rush it. Don't rush your heart. Don't rush your decision making. Think about it clearly. Um, enjoy it. Some of you have options in love. Some of you have more than one option in love. And just keep yourself at bay from crazy. Because it is Mercury retrograde. Give me one card for love for my collective. And then I'll get to career and advice. One card. Wow. Union of hearts. A love connection defies explanation. It's not about being right all the time. You're doing what's right for you or you're doing what's best for you and what's best for the other person, but it's not about being right all the time. It's being with the person you freaking want to be with it's loving unconditional love and I'm not saying be a bleeding heart um, I'm saying if you're going to be a if you're going to over give to someone give back to yourself if you're over giving if you are at max capacity giving to someone else you need to just cut that cord and give back to yourself because you are some of you guys are depleted financially mentally physically you're just like i don't even know what to do take care of yourselves take care of yourselves all right this is my bluebird lenormand you want a card and then i'll get to yeah the sun The sun is warm and bright, brightens the day. Good luck has begun to come your way. The closer your location, you bask in sweet bliss. Energy abounds in summer's radiant kiss. And then you have the lady. This charming woman with flowers in hand, as with the gentleman, her cards will command. The fortunes revealed once the cards have been placed unveil the fate that destiny traced. Some of you guys have a destined person to be with. So don't just lock yourself in to someone from your past who, you, who you're waiting for or someone who you're just wondering, you know, take care of yourself. I can't explain that enough. Just take care of your own personal spiritual hygiene. Take, take care of yourself. Like we take showers. Take care of your spiritual and mental health. Because you can't get into a new relationship with the same baggage of the old relationship. You can't go into... I mean, you can. It's just going to be toxic and the same freaking spiral over again. Don't set up another karmic cycle by bringing the baggage of old situations and old shit into new into new things okay so that is what i'm getting you guys so for some of you new love is coming in for some of you people someone from your past is coming in and you gotta be tread lightly tread lightly when it comes to someone from your past because it's not always going to be sunshines and rainbows up your ass they might try and I don't know. They might try and win you back, but 
You got to be strong and you got to be resilient to certain things and certain temptations. All right. So career for the next career for the next six months. This is my Tarot of Mystical moments. Career. For my collective. For the next. Six months yeah this fell out sick uh, this is the ace of spades there's a change happening for some of you in career I see movement forward movement but also slow movement I see the death card, so I see a lot of transformation. So some of you are switching jobs, switching careers. Some of you... are s switching locations. So whatever's going on, there's, there's a change in location. There's also a change in... Some of you are moving somewhere else, to another place, to another city, another state, whatever, whatever resonates with you. the emperor. Some of you are trying to, nine of pentacles, some of you are really trying your best, you're, you're really moving heaven and earth to make something happen in your career. Or, or with money. It's almost like, where's the luck? Can you send me a little bit of luck? <laughs> Knight of Cups. Next six months, predictions. Ten of Cups, beautiful. Whoa, some of you have a change. It could also be love. Um, you could also have a change in in love, and it's gonna do. It's going to be like you're moving for a job, but you're gonna find love in that location. So take what resonates. If it happens, it happens, and it doesn't even have to be the next six months. It could be longer than that. It could be an eight months next year, something to that extent. <sighs> Some of you are destined to be somewhere else from where you are because it's for spiritual growth. It's for spiritual, mental, and emotional growth. There's that saying, um, you cannot heal in the same place you were hurt. You can't heal in the same place that hurt you. So I feel like something new and beautiful is forming for you when it comes to work, but it's, it's almost like you have to make that leap of faith and you may have to love yourself a little bit more you know take care of yourself a little bit more five of swords and and focus on what you need when it comes to this new some of you are getting a new apartment okay ace of swords i'm seeing a new apartment Six of Pentacles. Yeah, the cherry. Like, I'm seeing movement. Some of you are getting something new. And, and it's material. You know, it's not like a per. Well, we, we are material, but it's not like a person. You're, you're getting a new house. You're getting a new apartment, a new vehicle, a new job, a new... Um, I'm getting sponsorship. Don't know what that means, but okay. Um, some of you want to move to, some of you want to move to another city or state. I'm obsessed with Topo Chico, you guys. I love it. Give me four more cards, please. The next six months. Three of Swords. Some of you were dealing with a really shitty boss. 
Of course, right? We all have to deal with shitty bosses at least once or twice in our lives, right? But some of you were dealing with a really shitty boss. Maybe made it sound good on paper. Yeah. The moon. But I feel like if this is for work, there were hidden motives and hidden agendas. Four of Cups. Give me one more card. If you feel like you're divinely guided to leave a certain job or you're just depleted from a certain job, it's because you are. Um, and some of you want to move to move, do something else completely different. Ten of Pentacles. Some of you are going to get an offer of a new of a new job of a new. Um, some of you are getting scholarships. I'm getting scholarships. So I don't know if you guys are like in, still in school and you're thinking about um, getting a scholarship. Please apply. You know, the worst they can say is no. But just apply because you just never know. Um, but you... If this is for, for my people who are changing careers, there's something new and big coming in for you. Some of you are waiting for that luck, but luck doesn't just happen like that. You need to take inspired action. So, six cards. Six of Pentacles. Or six of diamonds, four of spades, three of diamonds. I mean, three more cards. Nine of hearts. Yeah, inspired action. Queen of clubs. Some of you are Virgos. Some of you are Aries. I see Aries. I see Aries. Strong Aries. To start with the Emperor Aries. Um, some of you are Cancers. Five of Clubs. Let me three more cards. Next six months. Eight of Diamonds. Beautiful. Some of you guys are wondering, when is my time going to come? Ten of spades. You got the joker. And the five of hearts. You know, this is Pink Floyd, the wall. All in all, we're just another brick in the wall. Um, it's the song, We Don't Need No Education. <laughs> if you don't know who Pink Floyd is, Google them. They are a fantastic band. Um, but what I'm seeing is you're tired. Some A lot of you guys, when it comes to your careers, you're tired of the same shit. You, you're tired of being like a, like a cog in the, in the... It's almost like you are a square peg in a... Is that the right analogy? Square peg in a round hole. You are different. You don't think the same way. You don't run things the same way as your boss does or how the industry you're in does it. It whatever your whatever work you're doing has been very inefficient. Um I think it has caused problems. I think it's very chaotic. Some of you are in high pressure jobs. Some of you are in low pressure jobs, but there's just nothing to do. Some of you they're cutting costs, so they're so. I'm telling you, there are people laying people. They're laying people off. Um. So you have no choice but to find a new job. Sometimes the universe doesn't even give you a choice. Either you have to just find a new job, or you're going to have to. Um, just chug through this job up until the end of the year until until an opportunity comes. 
So that's what I'm getting. The, the best advice I can give for you guys when it comes to your career is just do your job. Just do your job. Do it as best as you can. Do it by the book. OSHA, whatever you got to do. OSHA references, if you guys know what that is. Um, if you are dealing with ineffective people, do it their way. Even if it makes you feel like it doesn't make any sense, just do it their way. Give me one card, please. For career... Jack of Spades, yeah. Eight of Spades. Ace of Diamonds. You guys are just like, what the hell is what the hell are they doing? And you're just kind of like, I could run this company a lot more efficiently, but that's not your company. I used to think like that. Like I could run this place a lot better than whoever the hell is running this place. But that's not your company. You're just there for a paycheck and maybe make one or two friends like don't get caught up in that move on with your life if the universe is giving you a chance to say goodbye to that job leave if if they're laying people off leave it's more of a testament to how that company is is running or how your work and job is running um than anything. If you are an entrepreneur, I feel like you need to figure out a better game plan. Better game plan on how to run your business more effectively. Check your balances. Don't just spend. Um, some of you went to school for something you didn't want to do. I've been getting that a lot lately. You went to school for something you didn't really want to do. And now you're kind of like biting the bullet for it, you know. Um, but find peace. Find peace within it. I feel like money, to end on the Ten of Pentacles, I feel like money, solutions to your problems, I feel like it's going to come through. But I also feel like for you to get this, you also have to move or change um, a position, change a job, change something. All right. Give me one card, please. This is my Bluebird Lenormand career, please, for my for my collective. You got thirty three. Oh my gosh, thirty three is a master number, you guys. It is those with a life path 33, it's like you guys can manifest. You guys can make it happen. It's almost like you can throw shit at me, but I can like turn it into gold. I feel like next year, towards the end of this year to next year, you'll start to see why things actually happened the way it did. And you'll actually be kind of grateful. Like... Oh, they laid me off. Oh, they told me to move jobs. Oh, they told me to switch locations. Well, you know what? I'm not even going to question it anymore. I'm just going to do it and just see where that goes. Um, anyway, it says key. Inspiration unlocks the door. Solutions are the key to success and more. Miracles and insight are easy to trace. Once the final piece tumbles into place, sometimes the universe, God, our higher beings, we, they put us in situations where we have no choice. Like if we have to move, like the last time I had to move to this place, sometimes they put us into situations where it's like, no, you're done with that. It's time for you to move on. You're done with this. It's time for you to go don't even question it if you have to move you have to move if you have to um i don't know why i'm seeing this you guys um but just be careful with your phones this this might not have anything to do with what i just read but this might not have anything to do with your job your phones 
your cars but I'm saying I'm seeing tracking devices so please keep an eye out on your technology on what you've got on on your trackers um, I don't know why I'm seeing that but I'm also seeing like if, I, if I'm seeing like a tracking device I'm also seeing like the universe is showing you where to go like you're getting guided to go there it's not like you're the only one in here and you're, you don't know what to do. It's almost like someone out there is watching you and showing you where to go. Almost like a GPS. All right. Give me one more card, please, from my collective when it comes to career. Okay, three cards came out. You got 10, which is the scythe. The scythe cuts bare, danger talks, stalks to. Of strangers beware, they can harm you. If nearby cards hold favorable view, with swift action you'll overcome too. Be careful with, with your assets, you guys. If you have stocks, if you have property whatever just just be careful with your with with your material wealth i'm not saying be materialistic but just look out for what you have then you got the mountain confront the mountain as you would a fierce foe to avoid your defeat strike hard the first blow this clear obstacle is a chance to succeed. Courage and persistence are all you will need. So it's almost telling me it's like you're going to face an obstacle. You're going to have to move. You're going to have to shift. There's a shift. There's a change. And you're going to have to overcome an obstacle. And you don't have to make the problem bigger than it already is. Just... If the problem is at five, keep it at a five. If the problem is at a 20, keep it at a 20. Don't make it more than what it is because that's going to give you more anxiety. Take care of your assets and take care of your money and take care of what you have. Some of you need to save because you are moving. Some of you are going to buy new property. So be careful with the property that you do buy. Um, I'm also seeing... Um, moving to a new place you're gonna have to adapt to a new a new way of life a new culture a new um i don't want to say identity but it could be a new and something new it's just a new city a new place a new thing and you just have to adapt to it right it's not the strongest that survives or the smartest that survives it's the most adaptable it's the one that is most adaptable to change that survives so you, you either adapt or you die you know <laughs> I mean if, if you if you are a scientist like that like it's either you adapt or you or you die you, you just if you're working at a job and it's consistent and you don't even like how they're running it and you don't like how your project manager is running it, you don't like how you're whatever I don't care, I don't give two effing shits <laughs> if you don't like how your project manager or your boss is doing something. You you just got to do it. We got to do things that we don't want to do sometimes. But don't think you're going to stay there. Don't think that that is the end all be all for you. Then you got the tower. A lone tower stands confident and secure. Ground your strength in all that is pure. When trouble surrounds, weakness may come. Problems that abound, you must overcome. It all talks about overcoming. And it also talks about that there are miracles, there are, there are opportunities that are coming towards you. You just have to see it. You just have to open your eyes to it. All right? That is what I have for you guys. That is career and love let's see 
give me one card. What do you want, my? I'm actually going to use this deck, my Muse Tarot deck. Give me three cards, please. What is your advice for my collective for the next six months? What is your advice for my collective for the next six months? I'm just going to go with this. Muse of Materials. Eight of Materials, yep. Temperance. Three of Cups. Muse of Emotions. Ten of Cups. Balance yourself out. It just says balance yourself out. Work. Do what you have to do. Because we're still living this life, right? We're still living this physical life. So do what you have to do. Grind if you have to grind. But don't don't stay there. It's the same thing when it comes to relationships. Don't stay in your past. Don't stay in this loop that it's like, um, this is all I'm going to get. Or this is all the type of relationships I'm going to be. This is, you, you have to know your worth. Know your worth. If you're an entrepreneur, you know all about worth. Your self-worth. Your self-worth, how you price your stuff, how you do every, organize everything. That is your self-worth. Um, take care of yourself. Take care of your life. Take care of your assets. Take care of whatever you got going on. Your apartment, your house, your cars, whatever, bills, whatever you got to do, do them. Deal with it. Deal with it head on. Um, and don't try and make excuses. You know, stay motivated, stay above it. <sighs> do your thing. Give me one more card, please. And then I'm going to end it here. This is a warning for some of you. Fish. When fish swim near in an ocean vast, prospects are clear for fortune amassed. If fish swim away, hopes are battered. Cheer turns to dismay and dreams are shattered. Don't just rush in and out of like, this is just a job, so I'm just gonna move, you know, move here and like, no. I'm gonna quit my job in like two weeks and two week notice and no, no, no. Do whatever you gotta do, stay the course, and then when you're ready to leave, leave. Or if they push you out, so if they lay you off or if they're cutting corners or whatever, whatever they're doing, leave. Sometimes the universe shows us what we need to do and it's in front of our face and we try to look away from it because we want, we're in denial. So the next six months be, be focused on you, be focused on your, on your stuff, um, be focused on moving if you have to move, if you have to go to another city, if you have to go to another country. If you have to change careers, if you have to um, be single for another few months, take your time. Don't rush into it. I remember I met a girl. Uh, she had moved to Atlanta. And she moved here last year, August of last year. And she got into a relationship in her home country before she even moved here. And it's like, what is your problem? Why did you get into a relationship so quickly? Because he's like the first guy that freaking gave you attention? Like, no. It, it, it just doesn't make sense. Some of you, when it comes to love, be patient. And some of you, when it comes to work... Be optimistic 
and know the signs it's like we always look at if you if you scroll doom scroll on like youtube or tiktok they'll say what's your red flag what's your well what's the red flags in your situation at work you know there could be a lot of red flags but it doesn't mean you have to stay there like you can i'm i'm not saying quit your job but i'm saying like stay there when you but when you really have to leave then you leave when it really is apparent to you that you have to go, go. One card. This is my pink floor. Some of you, you are underappreciated at your work. Some of you took that, you're underappreciated five of diamonds. You are underappreciated at your work and you are underappreciated at your, look at them. It's like the whole freaking place is burning down. It's like, whatever. And and you're doing your best to be like a firefighter to make sure everything is in good terms, but it's almost like you guys don't even appreciate a damn thing I do here. And some of you bring it home, bring it to your relationships. It's like you get with someone who doesn't appreciate you because that's all you know. Nine of hearts and the ace of diamonds. Find a place where you are not just appreciated, but you are also um, they know your worth because companies work environments they wouldn't succeed without their without their workers and i feel like many times they are overlooked workers are overlooked all right so that's what i have for you guys enjoy this video um comment like share subscribe this is for the next six months it could even be timeless i don't know but if the shoe fits if it resonates if you watch this August of 2025 if you watch this August of 2026 if this resonates then this is what it is but this is actually from now August 2024 up until January or February 2025 so that is what I have for you guys love and light I hope you guys have a lovely evening and I am going to get to personal readings today love and light bye